this is going to start on a bit of a downer and I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry but this is potentially one of the hardest holidays because you have so much to think about. You have to start preparing for your exams. Yes, I know they're a really, really long way away but they're not, it's going to come up sooner than we think and we have to start thinking about UCAS applications or if you've done that already we need to start thinking about university interviews. So there is a lot for you to do this holiday. However, having said all of that, the most important thing you need to do of this holiday is to try and relax. Really, really spend some time catching up on that sleep that you're missing because you're going to go into school early. Spend some time snuggled up so that all of those cold, wet mornings seem a little bit further away and really, really try and recharge because when we go back to school, things they're going to start ramping up even more than they have been previously. You need to divide your time up between looking after yourself, revising for your A-levels and then preparing for university, UCAS interviews or whatever you've got coming up next. <sighs> this is an unverified stat but I heard somewhere that roughly 50% of UCAS applications go in in the two weeks between Christmas and the middle of January deadline. That is a massive massive chunk of applications that are still yet to have gone in still yet to be written still yet to be checked by people so if you haven't submitted your UCAS application yet then that needs to be your priority um i've done loads of videos on personal statements things to put in personal statement what not to put in personal statement what is going to make sure that your personal statement ends up straight in the reject pile there are loads and loads of videos i'll put a link somewhere to all of those if you have got your personal statement in already well done but do not think you can relax too much because you need to start preparing for university interviews there are loads and loads of common questions that come up in interviews and what i want you to do is to just think about some of these questions and make two or three points on each question so that you can prepare i'm not talking about writing like an essay for each question or trying to learn the answers to those questions word for word because if that word is slightly different in the exam or if things aren't exactly what you expect in the exam then that might trip you up but just like you know question on one side a few bullet points on the other side of a flashcard that will really really help you prepare for interviews. When you're thinking about that, I want you to also think about any work experience you've done, um, your EPQ if you've done that, anything that you wrote in your personal statement, the person interviewing you might pick up on that and ask you lots and lots of questions about it. So if you wrote about your work experience that you did in year 10 and you've completely forgotten about it but you made a really big deal about it in your personal statement, prepare to answer questions on it so sit down make some notes on what you learned about it why it was valuable what you would change what you liked what you didn't like about it all of those sort of things could come up in an interview as we get closer and closer to the exams you need to actively start looking after your mental health this is something you have to go out and do something you have to prioritize time for something that you have to ensure is a priority not just something that happens on a day-to-day -day basis you have to put effort into ensuring that your mental health is considering it's exam time in the place where we need it to be for you to succeed so try things like mindfulness try exercise maybe try a yoga class or do park run um try different things you know you have going to bed early with a cup of tea and reading a good book i always like that one try and find out what works best for you and make sure you try and fit it in every day if you can every other day it is just as important as revising now at the end of each exam season the examiners write an examiner's report is something that i read with great interest and last year they really really mentioned the fact that year 12 content was a weak part of the exams so you spend this holiday revising year 12 content now coming into year 12 from year 11 it was probably a bit of a shock all of that stuff but as a year 13 looking back at year 12 content you're probably going to be surprised about how easy you find it so please spend some time going back on revising that going over papers going over notes going over examples um there is not a lot of time left and because it is now a two year linear specification, we have loads and loads of stuff to revise. So I am getting content up for you as quick as I can over my website, loads and loads of multiple choice questions, and getting those up quickly as I can for you. Not as much as I'd hoped, but I'm really, really hoping to have a significant chunk of A-Law chemistry finished by the time you go through to your exams. 
um we don't have a lot of time left um i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way guys good luck